What happens if you have to pee while in the air? <laughs> What's up guys, this is Amber Torrealba and I'm here at the Opkick studio and we have Fishbowl Friday and I'm gonna answer some questions for you. Let's see what we got. Have you ever been wakeboarding since it is somewhat similar? Funny thing is, is I've done wake skating, wake surfing, but for some reason I've never been strapped into a wakeboard and I grew up in Florida so I don't know why that hasn't happened but um, I would like to. I will say that I feel more comfortable not being strapped in so I can like bail from my board because <laughs> because I'm used to skimboarding and surfing and skating so but yeah um, wakeboarding it's on the list for sure. Let's get to the next one. Crazy shark encounters. Um, yeah, so growing up in Florida was fun where you're just surfing and you feel like a current underneath your feet and <laughs> you're just like, all right, cool. So there's a giant creature around me right now. And uh, my scariest encounters with sharks is uh, paddling out in one of my hometown beaches uh, in Satellite and uh, back in Florida. And the sharks, like, there's a few of them just jumping out of the water like five feet in front of me, but they were in front of the break where if you wanted to paddle in, um, you're screwed. So. <laughs> Uh, definitely that was my, my scariest shark encounter, but I will say that most times surfing like, or skimboarding, eight out of 10 in Florida, uh, you see a shark either in the water with you or right in the shore break. So that was always fun. I have a huge fear out here in California now um, surfing just because I always think there's sharks around me. But luckily I have noticed there's not as many, I feel like, that are trying to eat me out here, but we do have great whites, so that's not gonna be fun if I encounter one of those. <laughs> How do you keep your bathing suit on skimboarding? This is like, this is like a very common question, especially amongst females, because uh, we only have most of the time like two articles of clothing, which is just your bottoms and your top. And uh, I have a friend that's actually lost their entire top mid-air <laughs> on a trick. And uh, I honestly legit have to check every single time I come out of the water and just make sure everything's still there. It's like the worst, it's, it's one of the hardest things to like make sure that you're close. <laughs> it, it, I will say it's probably a lot easier to skimboard as a guy and not have to worry about a wave like smashing off all your clothes. <laughs> beer or wine? Uh, definitely beer. I don't know what it is about wine that just leaves this taste in my mouth afterwards. I don't really find myself just like sitting back and sipping on a little wine. Uh, definitely after a session, I'm down for a beer. Mario or Luigi? That's tough. Um, I'd say in video games, I'd go Luigi because he looks like a little more like, like he's faster. He can do some more stuff. Mario's kind of just like plump. <laughs> so I think Mario like looks cooler signature wise. He's, he's pretty classic, but I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Luigi. Why did you choose to pursue skimming over skateboarding? So um, I get this question often just because I started skateboarding and it's always interesting that um, I, th I thought growing up that like I would want to be a skateboarder. Um, I always wanted to skate and I, as I got older I found skimboarding because it was kind of like I skated and I surfed and skimboarding was like that weird in between where you're like kind of skating on water almost and when I found skimboarding I was just like hooked. It was so addicted and after college and everything, I went back and focused on it and like skimming was the way to go. Skating, I always like would get hurt so bad. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of fun, I mean, you get hurt skimboarding, but I don't know, there's just a, a different type of passion, a different type of love for the ocean that goes along with skimboarding um, that I don't really always have skateboarding. And uh, I think that's why like all around, like for my lifestyle, skimming just fit me best. And I went with it, it was, it was, it stuck with me. What happens if you have to pee while in the air? <laughs> Let's hope I have a wetsuit on, because I think that most people uh, do pee in their wetsuits, whether they want to admit it or not. So um, I think it's that adrenaline, that rush. I mean, you're going in the water anyway, so luckily you're not going to feel the warmth. <laughs> I don't know. It all happened so fast. When were you most out of your comfort zone? Swimming with sharks, actually, which is funny, but like swimming with sharks intentionally. <laughs> um, you wouldn't think that it would be because it's like once you're in it, I was like so calm. But um, yeah, I, just being in the water with creatures and it sounds so like off because that's what I enjoy doing is surfing and skateboarding. But 
I legit am so scared of creatures. Like if there's crocodiles, if there's snakes, if there's anything around me, especially in the water where I can't run away, I'm, uh, I'm terrified. So being in murky waters uh, are some of my scariest times. I think that would be, swimming with sharks would be the most and the second most would be swimming through like the swamps of Florida, trying to film manatees and knowing that there's alligators around you. I think that was when I was most out of my comfort zone because the alligators actually probably want to eat me instead of just take a bite, so. <laughs> Tea or coffee? Uh, unfortunately, I, I can say I'm not one of the cool people that likes coffee. I have not found a way to like coffee. I don't drink it. I've tried to drink it with creamer, sugar, anything that people want to try and give it to me, and I don't like it. So I'm going to have to go tea. Um, probably a tea that like is super relaxing, or maybe even that gives you, gives you a caffeine boost or Red Bull. <laughs> Florida or Orange County? So this is a funny one. Um, Florida or California, basically. And I've lived in two Orange Counties, actually, like in Orlando, back in Florida, and now in Orange County here in California. But um, man, California has definitely changed my life. Uh, I, growing up in Florida gave me a lot of appreciation now for where I'm at because I didn't grow up with mountains and all this cra crazy scenery and things like that. And um, the biggest thing for me is like the community out here. Like I didn't feel as much like I fit in in Florida because um, not as many people were a part of the action sports lifestyle and culture. So it's super dope being out here and being able to have, um, you know, the crew of friends and feels like family and just the industry out here is so rad. Um, I'm just stoked to be able to just try new things uh, and explore all the time. And yeah, I definitely have to say California as much as I feel bad because it's not my home, not my home grounds, but I think this is where where I'd rather stay. <laughs> countries you travel to. Um, some of my favorite countries I've traveled to would be um, Thailand, the Bahamas, uh, Portugal, and Mexico. And actually, and now one of the top on my list, if not the top on my list, is Costa Rica. And I find a lot of uh, experiences I get from when I'm traveling to be uh, because of the community. And so a lot of times when, especially when I went to Portugal, um, meeting up with a friend there and being able to be involved in the community and seeing what the locals do and same thing in uh, Costa Rica, that is like the game changer for traveling is doing what the locals do, putting yourself out of your comfort zone and like the things that I've done um, while like on the islands in Thailand or, you know, on the coast of uh, Portugal and even in the islands in the Bahamas is so sick. Like, I, yeah, completely out of my comfort zone sometimes, but other times it kind of just shapes like who you are. So it's pretty awesome. I think, think overall top, top of my list would be, would be Costa Rica. Near death experience. This is kind of crazy actually. Um, I actually had one cause I broke my nose when I was 16 and I had a, sur I, first of all, I was like on the side of my face. So I looked great. And uh, I had a surgery on it to fix it after a week cause they couldn't break, re-break it back right away. Um, and I had a second surgery on it that got com went completely wrong. And uh, yeah, when I woke up, like it was gnarly. Like I like the whole experience was like they're like, oh, I don't know if this girl's gonna live. Blah blah blah. She got like water in her lungs. And then I woke up and like <laughs> is it, it was heavy, but it kind of just made me realize like, oh shit, like this is definitely a new way to look at life when you feel like you're like away from your body for a moment, you know? So that was a crazy experience playing football, breaking my nose and like going through all that stuff and like realizing that that was gonna be an experience that changed me for a while. So you wouldn't think it would happen playing football as a little kid, but definitely did. Um, very grateful that I haven't had any serious um, experiences while um, traveling and, you know, doing action sports that have really tripped me up too much. But um, every moment that you're, you know, caught underwater surfing or like, you know, you get an injury or something like that really makes you appreciate the days that you are healthy and that you are here and, you know, you find that stoke a lot better. So, yeah. Favorite spot to skim. This is always tough to say because I feel like sometimes you're in the moment and you're like skimming when it's firing somewhere and you're like, this is why I love this beach. Like, it's just freaking rad. And honestly, 
I'd still have to say my favorite spot, um, hands down, would be Aliso Beach uh, here in Laguna Beach. And um, it's because uh, the shore break is so challenging. It's so freaking heavy. It'll get like, you know, five, six foot faces some days. And you have to really just like push yourself to want to get in that water because you're either going to, you know, get like one of the worst barrels ever or you're going to get like one of your best barrels. So, um, yeah, I usually enjoy like filming there as well because I get some of the best uh, fail, sh fail shots and best waves as far as like I've act actually ever caught there. So Aliso Beach is definitely the way, the way to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so can you name all 50 states? <laughs> all right, so the only way I can start by naming all 50 states is how I <laughs> used to sing them as a kid. So um, <laughs> here it goes. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Georgia, Florida. Oh boy. <laughs> I feel like this is one that stops rhyming and I stop knowing where to go. <laughs> I know exactly that song. I know. Shoot. I uh, didn't do so well in elementary school um, singing. Uh, Delaware, Florida, Georgia. Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana. <laughs> um, there's so many more states in there. I could totally just go along the map, like North Dakota, South Dakota, Oregon, Washington. You don't want to hear me say all 50 because I'll be here for a while. But if you know the song from when you're in like third grade, that's what you should have remembered. <laughs> Favorite place to visit? <clears throat> um, Somewhere warm, somewhere on the coast, uh, and somewhere with waves. So one place um, I really enjoy going to is Cabo, uh, Cabo, Mexico. Huge waves, warm weather, and awesome beaches. And a lot of times the scenery there is rad. You can climb the rocks and everything like that. I love Mexico. I love the culture there as well. Um, one of my favorite, one of my places that I do want to visit that um, you know is warm and like a dream place would be like Tahiti. So hopefully. I'll get a chance to visit there maybe this year or soon. Last one. Oh, wow. Perfect for the last one. Best decision you have made in your life thus far. The best decision I've made in my life is um, getting rid of everything I had in Florida, packing up whatever I could fit in a small sign XD, and driving right here to California. That was definitely the best decision I've made in my life, for sure. I changed my life forever, pretty much. <laughs> it's a fairy tale ending. <laughs> Empty fishbowl, signing off. <laughs>